Last name? First name. You take this card, have a seat in the center of the room or to the right. I want to welcome everyone to today's testing. We are here for the 77th Indiana State Police Recruit Academy. <laughs> This video is going to be how to clean the SIG P227. This is a big day for you. We've been working on these cars for about four and a half months. Our mechanics have been through that vehicle twice mechanically. Our installation people have been through it twice. We have put hundreds of man hours into each and every one of those cars, and we put thousands of dollars into every one of those cars. So uh, we feel that these cars are the best cars that we could feel for you today. Jackson Patrick Callahan, Patrolman, Indiana State Police, Capitol Police Sergeant. If you know anything, please call the Indiana State Police. Superintendent Doug Cardo will take care of it and you will get a $200,000 reward. Somebody knows. You want to hold the kit towards your, with the writing towards your face and then you want to pop the ampules from left to right. Pella improves police leadership in the city, county, and state police organizations, not only in Indiana, but throughout the nation. Continue this tradition and provide your leaders some of the best leadership education that they can find. Please send your officers, deputies, and troopers to a Pella program. Bob Klein, Robert Klein, PE 248. The Indiana State Police summer camps are gearing up and we need your help. Hello everyone, you've turned into the Indiana State Police Roadshow brought to you by the Indiana State Police Alliance. It is my honor to nominate Colonel Mark French for the 2017 Indiana SWAT Officers Association Lifetime Achievement Award. I'll tell you that I am humbled. I am a uh, product of those that raised me. And when I look around here, some of you are in this room. And I am a beneficiary of those guys that I served with. It's as simple as that.
<sighs> Time. Get up. Keep it up. Keep it up. 45. Sir, yes, sir. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. some protocols in place. Let me get somebody here to check that out for you. If you see something, say something. We also want to deliver a very important message about some of the basic life-saving skills that you can learn and use on the streets that could save someone's life. It's it's hot. Uh, computer soaked. You can see where Mike had his, his uh, hand there on the uh, it's all over. computer. Uh, we're sweating and I think um, I think we're gonna call it. Just don't even push on that pedal. Okay? Oh, don't don't be pushing the button. Hey, come on, don't be messing with that thing. Pretty light. You have like the blue mix in there. <laughs> This is the basic setup, and this is what you, you'll have. I'm Thomas Seacock, mm -hmm. P1830, okay. and uh, my appointment date was July 1, 1967, and I retired in February of 2001.
In his class, Trooper John Hall named his canine partner Smitty in honor and remembrance of fallen Trooper Herbert Wade Smith, killed in the line of duty December 5th, 1946. He was called Smitty by his co-workers, close friends, and family. We're pleased that he chose to do this. We're here, we're out here at 6.30 a.m. and these guys are ready to roll together. Detail, forward, march! There was a notion from the IMPD, a, a dear friend of mine is in, on their training staff, and we got to talking about a way to interact, and this run came up, and, and uh, here we are. How you doing, brother? Appreciate it, man. Yeah, not bad, not Yeah, bad. thank you, ma'am. Good job. Hey, thanks, brother. Appreciate it. Enjoyed running with you all today. Encourage other people to, to, to come into this profession, even though it's difficult right now. It, it creates tremendous opportunity at the same time. I'm Robert Connolly. I go by Bob. My PE number was 2160. Uh, I was appointed on April 16th, 1970, and I retired uh, in September, I believe September 26, 2002. That this is uh, designed to make an impact, whether it be in a small community, whether it be on the highways, uh, this program should have a, a dramatic impact. Good afternoon, I'm Sergeant Wildauer with the Indiana State Police. And I'm Sergeant Rosa Wiz with the Indiana State Police, and we're recruiters for the State Police. My name is John, middle initial W, Jackman. Uh, my PE number is 406. Uh, I initially was employed uh, June 1, 1952. Uh, retired April 20, 1979. I am blessed to be able to support law enforcement while they get to understand how dealing with someone with a mental health issue might not look like what they thought it was going to. Indiana State Police, we'll be here in full, right? We'll be in full. We'll have our ERT, which is our SWAT team, our EOD, which is our bump team. Yep, we'll have our bomb guys here. The guys like to blow stuff up. We'll have the scuba team here. We'll have the scuba team. Some of our motorcycle units will be here. Yep, and we'll have a lot of troops here just to answer questions for those people that may have an interest in law enforcement, especially with the Indiana State Police. It's Dwight. Dwight, okay. D-O-Y-T-E. The T is silent on the okay. plane. I'm telling you a lot of things I ask people about. They ask me what my name is, and I say, what's your name? So then we start going back and forth. It, it's, it's, it's a game we play. Mm -hmm. So can you say your full name for me? I need a middle name. Yes. Which is Marvin. Marvin. M-A-R-V-I-N. Mm -hmm. And my last name is Smalley. S-M-A-L-L-E-Y. And what's your PE number? 1074. So I hope you remember how you feel today. How you feel today and the sense of accomplishment today and how proud your family is today that maybe just might get you through that, that difficult period of time that you will face. Aren't you two a little too old to be doing this? No, no we're, we're, so. we're much younger than we look. Yeah. To promote, protect, and defend. To promote, protect, and defend.
defend the Constitution and laws of the United States of America. Constitution and laws of the United States of America. And the state of Indiana. And the state of Indiana. Boom! Welcome to the Indiana State Police Museum Trunk or Tree. Right. This is the third year for our event and it's been very successful. Happy Halloween. Happy Halloween. Boo. Trick or tree. Trick or tree. Boo. Meow. Good morning, I'm Missy Wolf with IoT. What we're gonna do today is go through the time and labor setup and processing of your timesheets. Are y'all ready to do some shopping? Woo! Yeah! Today is our uh, annual Trooper Bartram Christmas for Kids event. Oh, now those are cool. Uh, we're taking, uh, we have almost 250 kids today that we're taking shopping. Right now, let's see, that was 53, so we're close to about uh, 71. We're spending $125 per child. Uh, we took 50, almost 50 last week to a different store and we're doing almost 250 today. So just under 300 kids this year. Do you have any words of wisdom for young troopers or people that are interested in becoming a trooper? The, 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 most, the best advice I can give to anybody that is considering being a, a trooper is to be an Indiana State Police Officer. It is not a job, it's a career and they should consider that as a career and not as a stepping stone to go somewhere else. Mm -hmm. If you have an interest in a career in law enforcement, I would push them towards the state police. And this is an opportunity for you that not many people have. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And so you ought to enjoy it while you can.